Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley here, and today I'm going to show you how to loop music using C Sharp. So, before I begin, if you want to know how to just play music using C Sharp, click the eye up in the corner. There's a quick little tutorial you can watch, and then you come back and watch this one because obviously you want to know how to loop music. That's why you clicked on this video. I would assume so. But by looping music, I basically mean we specify a WAV file for C sharp to loop and it just keeps playing it until we hit something on the keyboard. That's all we're going to do so let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you import system and system.media as we'll be needing these for this program. Next, if you are in Visual Studio, you can right click on your project, go to open folder in File Explorer, then click on bin, debug and you'll want to place your WAV file in here if you want to use a relative file path, that's just the name of your WAV file. You may not see any um, other files in here, which is fine. These will appear when you run your program because this folder is where Visual Studio runs your code by default. So I'm putting my WAV file in here so I can just reference the name of the WAV file. You can put it wherever you want, just make sure you get the file path correct. If you're using a different IDE, accessing this folder might be a bit different. With that out of the way, let's get into the code. So in our main method, we are going to be calling a function called play music. It's, we're passing in Cynthia.wav. This string represents the file path of our file we wish to play. We do console.write line play music. And we do a console.read line to stop the program from closing. So let's define play music. Public static void, pretty simple stuff. It's not gonna return anything. Play music is the name. String file path is the file path of the WAV file we wish to play. Obviously, if you're not doing this in a static context, you don't need to include the static. And inside, we're going to do three lines of code. Sound player, music player equals new sound player. We are just making a new object that's going to play our sound. Think of this like a CD player. Then we take this sound object we've just created and we do dot sound location equals file path. We're just telling our sound player, hey, this is the file we wish to play. Here's where it is. It's like putting a CD in your CD player. After that, we then do music player dot play looping. I wonder what that does. But basically, we're just telling our sound player, hey, play this sound and loop it. Meaning once it's finished playing it, it plays it again. And that's basically it for this tutorial. So we're going to hit save and then hit play and see what happens. Oh man, this is... This song is just amazing, isn't it? Oh no! It stopped before we got to the good part, but then started at the very beginning again. I mean, it's still pretty good. Oh no, it did it again. It, it's about to get to the good part and then it just stops and starts again. It's so annoying. And then when we hit enter, the program stops. So basically what was going on is I had a tiny WAV file that contained a tiny chunk of Cynthia's theme from Pokemon. And I was just looping it. And because looping is asynchronous, we need to have the we need to have a console.read line, otherwise. The program's just going to close straight away, and I'll demonstrate that right now. As you can see, it just closed straight away, because when we're doing something asynchronously, the thread can continue doing other stuff. However, if the thread has nothing to do apart from playing the music, it's just going to stop. And if there's only, if there's only one thread, or that thread's the main thread, the program's just going to close. So we need to give the thread something to do. And one thing we could do is just console.read line because then it's just going to wait for user input. And that's basically it for this tutorial. Again, there's nothing wrong with the code. If you're wondering why we weren't perfectly looping Cynthia sound, it's because the web file I provided only contained a small chunk. So we wouldn't have to spend multiple minutes just to see a loop in action. We could see it after a few seconds. Now, if you want to see more videos on how to play music in C sharp, Subscribe, there will be more coming in the future. Thanks for being a great audience. I'll see you next time.